Don't move this bench. How many rupees? <laughs> Yes, now silence everyone. Okay, so any doubt in the homework questions of tabulation? No doubts. Accounts homework, I'll explain at the end. Because there are certain important points in tabulation which we need to discuss today. So any doubts in tabulations homework? No doubt. Are you able to do that? So Tabulations, further questions we take up today. <clears throat> Page 42, exercise 2.2, question 1. Exercise 2.2 on page 42, question 1. Now listen everyone. I will read the whole question. All of you should be alert. After completing the reading of whole question, any one of you has ask the attributes. So reading the question, whenever you come across an attribute, underline it. After the question is over, I ask you and you must be able to answer me what are the attributes because sufficient questions we practiced yesterday. Okay? So I am reading it thoroughly. Just be attentive and wherever you find an attribute, underline that. Any one of you, I can ask it. There were 1400 students studying in Commerce College. Among them, 855 were boys and of them, 225 boys were in the second year. In the second year, the number of boys and the number of girls are equal. Among the 550 students of the first year, the proportion of number of boys and girls is 3 is to 2. In the third year, the number of boys is three times the number of girls. Represent the above information in a table. Manish. Yes. First attribute and second attribute. Tell me the two attributes involved. Students and boys. Students. Students, you will make which classification? Like yesterday, yesterday gender we did Boys and girls. So students, what will you class in that? Then boys and girls become the same attribute only. Okay. Stream, what will you class in that? Commerce and first year. But commerce, FY, first year. Second year, third year. And? And gender, boys and girls. Correct, but we will not call it as commerce. Entire information is of commerce only. We we'll call it as year of study. <coughs> first attribute is year of study. We are given information about first year, second year, and third year. Second attribute is gender. We are given information about boys and girls. Year of study, we will write in the rows. Year of study, first year, second year, third year, total. Gender, we will write in columns, boys, girls, total. Raise your hand who did not understand. So, underline in the paragraph, second year. So, what is one attribute? Year of study. And which are the three years of studies given? First year, second year, third year. Raise your hand who is not clear. And underline boys. Means second attribute is second attribute is gender, boys, girls, and two. All of you are clear with that? So heading will be given in this manner right now. Table showing. Okay, what is the first attribute? 
no? Year of study. So table showing year of study wise <coughs> and what is the second attribute? Gender wise classification of students of commerce college. Any confusion with the heading? Now, as I said to you yesterday, how do you divide the two attributes in the table is through a diagonal. Okay, on a line, diagonal. Below the diagonal, we write year of study. And above the diagonal, we mention gender. Year of study, you'll write first year second year, third year and total. Every attribute will have its own total. Gender we will write boys, girls, total. Is everyone of you clear with the structure of table any confusion in this? All are able to follow that? making the columns 30 seconds do it fast understand the attributes I discussed? Yes, sir. Sure. Don't hesitate to ask the doubts, okay? Is Mona still making this now? Be attentive. There were 1400 students studying in a commerce college. <coughs> Vanshita, when will I write 1400? Others, keep your lips and voice under control. Yes? Which total? Grand total, maybe. Grand total, all of you write on 1400. See, if you don't want impositions, don't speak in between. Only the person whom I am asking will answer, others will keep silence. Okay? <clears throat> Among them, 855 were boys. Kushbu? No. Chakre? Yes. Among them means among 1400. Among them means among 1400, 855 were boys. So boys total 855. Raise your hand who did not understand this. 
All are clear with this? Now, <coughs> Akshar, what else can we open? How much? Rashti. What is your name? Kajal. Kajal. Yes, Akshar. 1400 minus 855. 545 are girls. Do you understand this or not? What did I tell you yesterday? The simple rule of ablation with every one figure you'll get at least two figures. If you don't obtain at that point of time, if you don't obtain it at that point of time, then you'll have lots of trouble in solving tabulation. Okay, so be careful with this. 1800, sorry, 1400 minus 855, 545 are girls. I repeat it once again. Out of 1400, 855 boys. So 1400 minus 855, 545 are girls. Raise your hand who did not understand this. All are clear with it? Further. Among them, 855 were boys and of them, 225 boys were in the second year. Nisad? <coughs> yes, what figure will write? Yes, among the boys, 225 were in the second year. So, boys, 225 in the second year. Did you understand this everyone? Read that once again. Among them, 855 were boys. And of them means out of this 855, 225 boys were studying in second year. Any confusion in this? Raise your hand. All are clear with this? Okay, then. Sadhvi. Darshan. Anything else we can obtain? We cannot obtain anything else. Okay, it is not necessary that with every figure you have to obtain two figures. If you don't obtain two figures, stop only. It is a general rule. Many times you get three, four figures also. But see it carefully. If any two figures or three figures can be obtained first, obtain them, then only read the next information. But presently no other information can be obtained. So we'll read the next information. Understood that? Further. In the second year, the number of boys and the number of girls are equal. Pranati? Yes? So what is the right? Yes. The number of boys and the number of girls are equal. The number of boys are 225. Means the girls are also 225. Raise your hand who did not understand this. All of you are clear with this portion? <coughs> Dhruvi, what next can we open? Silence! No one will speak in between. Five forty-five minus two twenty-five. What is? Total number of boys and girls in second year. How many? Four twenty-five. Dhruvi, how can you do five forty-five minus two twenty-five? Two figures are missing. Very simple question I asked you. 225 plus 225, 450. Okay, in second year, boys are 225, girls are 225. So, boys 225 plus girls 225. What will be the total? 450. Did you understand this? Further. Among the 550 students of first year, Drashti, <coughs> where will I write that? In which total? Yes, among 550 students of first year, in first year's total, I will write 550. Raise your hand who did not understand this. All are clear with this? Sankit, what else can we obtain? <coughs> <laughs> yes. So normally it happens. If someone does it, then you also get the tendency to do it. <laughs> yes, one time, you are. Yes. 
Can they get the same? What can you obtain? How can you obtain that? Shhh. No discussions. Sir, 14,000 minus 550. Minus? 1,400 minus 550 minus 450. Correct. Sit down. See, out of 1,400, 550 are past year, 450 are second year, so remaining 400 are third year. 1,400 minus 550 minus 450. Do you all get 400 or not? Those who don't have the calculator stand up. Did I speak in French yesterday that you will bring the calculators without the along with you? Who oh, were absent yesterday? Sit down. Why so many were absent yesterday? In such situations, come for the second period endings. Okay? We do allow that way, but bring a leave note with you. And it will be cross verified by ringing up at your place. But see that it's in your interest to attend the one of the periods at least. Okay? Now others, those who are standing. Can you pencil? Sir, <laughs> You have it, but not worry. Which brand is that? <laughs> or brand. Brand new only you purchase. Sit down. What is your name? Rekha. Silence. Sanki. Shiv. Darshiv. Silence and Amit. So you will be solving this question one time. Every time you will not be this lucky. By chance if we are doing 7th or 8th question then you get that 7 times or 8 times. I want this to be solved again one time by tomorrow. Sit down. See that all of you carry the calculators. Yes now? Anyone who is not there with 400 raise your hand. Further, among the 550 students of the first year, the proportion of the number of boys and girls is 3 is to 2. So, what is your name? Richa. What do you mean by 3 is to 2? Yesterday I discussed one shortcut of doing it. So, what is that 3 is to 2? No discussions. Three by five. I did not ask you. I said no discussions. <laughs> How did you get five? Sit down. Don't speak in between. Your chance will come. Three is to two. Three plus two is five. So three by five and two by five. Did all of you understand it? Now, who is not clear? Understood or not? Let down. First year 550. We attended. First year 550 boys and girls are in the ratio of 3 is to 2, which means 3 by 5, 2 by 5. 3 plus 2 is 5, so 3 by 5, 2 by 5. Okay? Now, how do we count this? 550 multiplied by 3 divided by 5, that is 330 and 550 multiplied by 2 divided by 5, that is 2. What is the shortcut I told you yesterday? In calculator, how can you do it directly? First, what will you do? First, what will you do? Divide by 5, what is common? Do it 550 divided by 5. Is that common in both or not? Now press multiplication 2 times into into. What is the first number? Press 3 equals 2. What do you get? Now directly press 2 equals 2. What do you get? 2 times. Understood this? Do it one more time on your own. I am not speaking it.
Can you get? First, what will you do? 550 divided by 5, then into into 2 times. 3 equals to 330, 2 equals to 220. And if you don't understand, shortcut is not compulsory to use, you can do it in normal. 550 into 3 by 5, 550 into 2 by 5. All of you are with this? Written this note after the table? Now, show this. Boys, 330. Girls, 220. Anyone not clear with this? Raise your hand. All are clear with this? Now, what is your name, Urvi? What else can be obtained? Two twenty eight, two twenty five level. I said no discussions. How do you get that? Correct. So now, 545 minus 220 minus 225, that is 100. Check it everyone. 545 minus 220 minus 225. Do you all get 100 or not? Yes. Any confusion with this 100? No. All are clear with this? Yes. Amen. <laughs> yes, either you can do 400 minus 100, 300, or you can do 855 minus 330 minus 225, 300. Is everyone clear with it? Yes. Raise your hand who is not clear with any of the figures. All are clear with that? Yes. So look at next question, question number two. Same thing, I am reading the whole question and I will ask you the attributes. So be alert when I am reading the question. Anyone I can ask the attributes, okay? <laughs> 1600 employees. Yes, any confusion, Richard? 1600 employees are working in an office. Among these employees, the number of men exceeded the number of women by 15% of total number of employees. The number of unmarried employees are 800 less than the number of married employees. The number of unmarried women is 195 and represent the above data in a suitable table. So I want the attributes involved in the table. Krishna? And in what parts will you divide that attribute? So attribute is not number of employees, it is marital status. Second attribute? Gender, men and women. Correct. All of you underline Men, so first attribute is gender, men and women. All of you underline married or unmarried, any of the two. The second attribute is marital status. All of you are clear with this? So, heading right down. Table showing Yes, what will we write first? Gender wise. And marital status wise. Okay, gender wise and marital status wise. Classification of employees working in an office. Right? First attribute which is gender will show it in rows. Men, women, total. Second attribute marital status. <coughs> We will show it in columns, married, unmarried, total, and there is no hard and fast rule. You can show status in rows and gender in columns. Both the ways it is correct. I told you yesterday itself, any attribute can be shown in rows, any attribute can be shown in columns.
can make the columns fast. Question important. You all will be repeating this in the homework. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Sixteen hundred employees are working in an office. Yes. Grand total. All of you write down grand total sixteen hundred. <coughs> are you okay with this? Further. Among these employees, put a pen down. The number of men exceeded the number of women by 15% of total number of employees. Now understand this properly. Because of this reason, because of this reason I am giving you the homework. Because this sentence, how to convert into figures is very important. Remember, whenever one information is given in terms of other information, always assume second information as X. If they say, boys are so many times girls, then assume girls as X. If they say commerce are so many times science, then assume science as X. See here, among these employees, the number of men, men is the first information, exceeded the number of women. Women is the second information. So women we will assume as X. Raise your hand who did not understand this. Whenever two informations are given, which information you assume second? Read that sentence loudly. The number of men, that is the first information. Further? Exceeded the number of women. Women is the second information. So what will you assume X? Women. Raise your hand who is still not clear with this. All active with this. Put your pens down. No one should be writing. If I find you writing, I'll tear your pages. Okay? Because it's a complicated working, so understand it first. Suppose the number of women who is this Mary Com in the class? <laughs> Suppose the number of women is equal to X. Is everyone up to clear with this? All of you are clear why women is assumed as X. Now read this carefully. The number of men, what do you mean by exceeded, plus or minus? Exceeded means plus. Okay. The number of men exceeded the number of women. So can I say that number of men exceeded the number of women means women X plus. Who is not clear with this? Raise your hand. Exceeded means plus. The number of men exceeded the number of women. So women X plus. Now how much they exceeded? By 15% of total number of employees. Total number of employees is 1600. So 15% of total number of employees means 1600 into 15% 240. <coughs> Any 
Can you envision in this? One more time you yawn, you'll be out of the class. Okay? The number of men exceeded means plus. The number of women that is x. So x plus. Now how much they exceeded? 15% of total number of employees. Total number of employees are 1600. So 1600 15% they exceeded by x plus 240. Print 1600 into 15%. Getting to what you are not? Yes. Anyone who is not clear up till here? Now, the total is 1600. Means can I say men plus women must be equal to 1600? Is it or not? Yes. Men plus women must be equal to 1600. Understood that? Now, men is x plus 240. Men is x plus 240. Women is x must be equal to 1600. Any confusion with this? Raise your hand. Okay. Once again, men plus women must be equal to 1600. So men that is x plus 240 and women that is x must be equal to 1600. Manish, pass on your notebook. All of you clear up till here? Any doubts so far? Now after this, Sandhya, next step. Sir, 2x uh, plus 240. Correct. x plus x will become 2x plus 240 equals to 1600. Any doubts with this? What should the next step? Next step, see there. Rima? Pancheta, basic thing I am asking you. Here it is plus. If you bring on the right side, it will become minus. minus. We done this in the past years. And you must be able to tell. 2x is equal to 1600 minus 240. Okay, plus 240 on the other side becomes minus. 1360. Yes. Check it 1600 minus 240. Do you agree 1360 or not? Yes. Any confusion so far? No. Then break our next. Uh, to, uh, <coughs> now here it is multiplied. So when you bring 2 on the other side, it will get divided. 1360 divided by 2, that is 680. Any confusions? No. Here it is multiplied, so other side it will get divided. Now x is number of women. Means number of women are 860. So men, women are 680. So number of men will be equal to x plus 240. Men will be x plus 240 means 680 plus 240, 920. Did you all understand this portion? Raise your hand who did not understand how to solve this. All are clear? If everyone is able to do it right now, means you'll be able to do it in exams. So that's why I said try it on your own. And see that you repeat it in the homework. So again, don't copy it in repeating. I want all of you to try this workings on your own when you repeat it. But there's important workings in tabulation. Very few times you come across such complicated workings. 
uh, instead of Saturday, my test will be on Sunday. I'm repeating. <laughs> instead of Saturday, my test will be on Sunday. Saturday, you have Abhishek sir's, then Abhishek sir's lecture. My class, regular class. 4.30 to 5.30, my class will be a regular class. Continue. Exceeded the number of women. Women is the second information. So second information, suppose number of women is equal to X. Now exceeded means plus. So number of men, women X plus they exceeded. Now how much they exceeded? By 15% of total number of employees. Total number of employees are 1600. So they exceeded 1600 into 15% 240. Any confusion so far? Now we can see that men plus women will be equal to 1600. So, men x plus 240 plus women x will be equal to 1600. x plus x, 2x. Plus 240 on the right side, minus. Multiplied by 2 on the right side, divide. So, x comes to 680, which is the number of women. So, men will be x plus 240 means 680 plus 240. Still anyone who wants me to repeat it again? All are clear with it? Will be able to do in exams? Yes. So, write down here. Out of the 1600, men are 920, women are 680. One more similar information is there. Now that you will do along with me and I will be asking it to you. So, be attentive. Who are still doing up till here? Raise your hand. Complete it first. are 800 less than the number of married employees. So, first of all, Kushbu, what will you assume? Number of unmarried employees be X plus 2. Correct. Be attentive. The number of? What will you assume X? Married will be X. What did I tell you? Which information you use? Second. Read that. The number of unmarried employees. Unmarried is the first information. They are 800 less than the number of married. Married is the second information. So what do you assume? Assume X. Married. Write down. Suppose number of married employees is equal to X. 
Raise your hand who is not there by married as it. All are clear with this? Now, it is given unmarried employees are 800 less than the number of married employees. So, Harshit, what will married, unmarried be equal to? <coughs> Correct, only less than. Less than means plus or minus? Minus. minus. There it was given exceeded. So plus, here it is given less than. So, unmarried employees, they are 800 less than married means x minus 800. They are 800 less than married, so x minus 800. Less means minus. Anyone who is not clear with this? All are clear with that? I mean, next. Correct. Even married plus unmarried must be equal to 1600. Add on married plus unmarried is equal to 1600. Married means X. Married means X. Unmarried means X minus 800 is also equal to 1600. Any confusion in this? All are clear so far? Then, Roshni. Next step. <coughs> Minus 800. So it will become? And what is X plus X? What is X plus X? Amaya, x plus x, 2x, 1x plus 1x, 2x, did you understand this, sit down, x plus x is 2x minus 800 equals to 1600 and yes minus 800 on the other side will become plus, any doubts with this, 1600 plus 800 is 2400, all are clear up till here, then, Bhavya, Yes, now multiplied by 2 on the other side will get divided. So 2400 divided by 2 that is? <coughs> now x means married. married. <coughs> x means married. Did you understand this everyone? So how will we get unmarried? Yes, unmarried is x minus 800. So, unmarried will be equal to 1200 minus 800, that is 400. Are you all clear with this portion, everyone? So, able to understand how to do these workings, but when you repeat in the homework, try it completely on your own without copying it, so that you are able to do it or not, you will be able to analyze that. So, here we can write now married are 1200, unmarried are 400, total 1600. Anyone not clear with this? Raise your hand who is still writing up till here. Completed? Read the next information. The number of unmarried women is 195. So, Shlok, where will you write 195? Unmarried women. Be reader. Unmarried women 195. Any confusion in this? Okay. Unmarried and women comes to 195. Who is not there with the placing of 195? Raise your hand. All are there with this? Now, Pridosh, what else can you obtain? Okay, correct. 680 minus 195, 485. Did everyone? 680 minus 195, 485. Any doubts? <coughs> All are clear with this? Then, Ruchika. Yes, 